Hi, I'm Meg Barney with BMD's Millwork Division. We are the California distributor for Marvin Windows and Doors. And today I want to talk to you about what to do when something goes wrong. If your door won't lock or your hardware broke or you can't figure out what you need to do, this is where we do an initial service inspection. So if you can gather up some information, wrap it all up in an email and send it over to your Marvin dealer, we can get a service request processed for you as quickly as possible. So we're gonna go over today the information that you need to gather up in order to make this process really smooth. We'll begin by collecting information about the window or door unit itself. The original order number and line number, the color of the unit inside and out, the style and operation of double hung, single hung casement or door, the size of the unit, width and height, location on the home, whether it's the kitchen, the bathroom, the dining room, Detail the issue or defect to be inspected, and then let us know if we need any special access to the unit, such as scaffolding to reach a second story or a gate code to get in. Now we will take a series of photos of the unit in question. Begin with far away photos of the interior and the exterior. This helps to show the style of the unit, the location, as well as the relationship to other windows and doors on the home. Next, we take a photo of the unit itself a close-up of the interior and a close-up of the exterior to show the operation and installation. And this is also your opportunity to point out which unit within a mole or bank of windows is having an issue and the color of the unit. Our next photo is of the corner of the unit. On a window, this helps to show the sticking, the frame style, extension jams, and more. If you're taking a photo of a door having an issue, make sure to get a picture of the lower corner that shows us the sill detail. Next up may be the most important photo of all. This is a photo of the Marvin glass code. Each piece of glass that Marvin puts out is etched in the top right corner when viewed from the interior with a serial number that helps us look at the original order and gives us all kinds of info about the unit itself. Now you'll take photos of the hardware on the door or window in question. This helps us to identify the age and style of the product and make sure that it is a Marvin window or door in case this is an older unit with no glass code, as well as helps us to know what color or finish your hardware was so we can replace the parts appropriately. The last photo may be a few photos of the defect or problem. You'll make sure when taking a photo of your issue that you use something as a point of reference, whether that be a tape measure or your finger. Some people will put a coin in the window next to a defect so we can see how big a scratch or a nick might be. Okay, so now you've gathered up the information that you need. You've taken a handful of photos. You're gonna attach them to an email, send them to your Marvin dealer, and we're gonna process a service request for you so we can get you a tech if you need it or parts on order. Thank you for doing your part so that we can make this a smoother process. I hope you have a wonderful day.